Hello, Tad Hargrave, Marketing for Hippies, and here with another video for you. <laughs> Today's video is about uh, industry frustrations. I got this from a book called Monopolize Your Marketplace by Richard Harshaw. Really simple question, but I think it's one of uh, my favorite questions for designing offers, writing sales letters, um, you know, making packages, uh, because I think it just really strikes to the truth of people's experience. And the industry frustrations question is this. Um, when somebody goes to buy what you're selling, what are the little uh, frictions, annoyances, frustrations that they experience buying what you sell? Not just from you, but buying what you sell. Really important question. So for example, plumbers might show up late, charge more than the initial quote, not, not fix it right the first time. Uh, that might be something that's frustrating. I don't know, maybe yoga classes, the teachers talk too much or they don't talk enough. <laughs> it depends. Um, but you're thinking for your ideal clients, what are your ideal clients most frustrated by in the industry? And you wanna uh, think about that for yourself, but you could also start asking people. And you could put this on Facebook, say, hey, I do, um, I don't know, I do um, yeah, energy work. What, what bugs you the most when you go for energy work? I don't like being guilted and shamed, you know, about my situations, being told I created everything, maybe. Maybe you're an addiction counselor. What bugs you the most when you go to, and maybe they don't have a lot of experience, but maybe they do, you know? So whatever it is, what is it that's most frustrating, annoying, the bits of friction? By the way, this could be logistical stuff. Um, could be about uh, the pricing, could be about the location, could be about, you know, I went to a, um, I, why, why did I do this to myself? It was a, a tantric speed dating evening and I should have known. But anyways, I just got there and I realized I am not into this, but I stayed for the two hours because they'd done a men and women pairing up thing. So I thought, well, I'd be rude to leave. But I wasn't into it. I probably should have left. I bet you there would have been a woman who wanted to leave too. We could have gone from Pierce. But um, and it wasn't a bad experience. It just wasn't for me. But, you know, if somebody were to say, Tad, what, were, what frustrated you or annoyed you about this? Um, you know, I'd have a list. Oh, God, the eye gazing. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the kind of forced intimacy, the hugs you know, the, the icebreaker activities just wasn't my thing. And so, you know, if I were to organize a speed dating thing, I could say, look, you've probably been to speed dating events and you had this experience or this experience, but we do it differently. See, we do it like this. You see where this goes. Look, we don't do any run around the room icebreakers. We'll sit in a circle, everyone kind of introduces themselves and, you know, we're gonna share some food together and then we just do some small group exercises, you know, conversations around some meaningful things. Or we work in a garden together. You know, we're all gonna be doing something together and you can you can be gardening while you're, you know, sort of dating. So that's a different opinion, that's a different approach. So the the the, the way this gets set up in the marketing is like, you know how a lot of people do it this way? Well, we do it this way instead. You know how often in this industry you run into these kinds of challenges? Well, here's how we address them. I remember hearing about a grocery store. Uh, was, who was it? This is 20 years ago now, but they had a policy where it's like, hey, we, we know that all this hippie organic, there's new stuff and people haven't tried it. So our policy is just feel free to try it. And if you don't like it, return it. No questions asked. And their feeling was, we're gonna sell more things that people are willing to try. Some of them they won't like, and that's okay. But some of them they will. Most of them they're gonna like, and, and then they're gonna buy it again. And well, long-term, we're gonna make more money. So th this is where something in the, this appears in the policies and procedures. It doesn't stay forever abstract. Now it's there. In your policies, your procedures, your operating manual. So you can actually say, you know how a lot of times in the industry you run into these kinds of things? Here's how we do it differently instead. So in my industry, you know, what bugs my people about going to marketing workshops? Oh my, being asked to do things that they don't wanna do, uh, that are pushy, ma manipulative, aggressive, all the high fives, rah, rah, 
um, you know, uh, motivational stuff, the, um, the, you know, raise your hand constantly applying. My people are just generally, I don't think they're into that. And so then in my sales materials, I need to say, look, I know the reason you wouldn't want to go is because this, so here's how I do it differently instead. Or they may, they may say, you know, I don't like paying all this money and it's not that good at the end. That's a frustration. Great. So I do my workshops on a pay what you can basis, $25 deposit up front, pay whatever you want to pay at the end. No pressure. Whatever you pay is perfect. So that's a way. So hopefully those are enough examples to get your, your, your mind going around it. So let's recap. What's the question? What are the things that frustrate, annoy, bother your people when buying what you sell? Make that list, do the research, ask around, talk to a lot of people. And once you've got that list, solve them all. Especially pick the top three, the three that are the biggest ones and solve them robustly, conclusively, completely. And I think you may be amazed at the difference uh, in response you get on all your marketing. So again, if you like this video, please feel free to share it. You can click subscribe uh, to me on YouTube and the little bell icon. You can follow me on Facebook. I got an email uh, newsletter at marketingforhippies.com. Lots of ways to keep hearing more from me. That's all for today. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this.